So last year, December, I took a trip to Qingdao, which is located in the far eastern Shandong province of China. It was a very interesting city. Beautiful seaside with nice beaches. It has a very interesting history with Germany, having occupied it for some time back in the day. And the Qingdao Brewery, like the Qingdao beer that you probably drank before, this is where it comes from. And that brewery was actually started by the German colonizers. So that's all quite interesting to see. I think what many people don't know is that Qingdao is one of the only ports that still operate ferries to South Korea. And so this was why I was there. And to be honest, it was pretty hard to find the right information to get on the ferry. So this is a quick video to share what the journey was like and hopefully inspire some people across the internet to make the same journey. This is the cruise terminal. It's a huge headache to find if you're not very used to the Chinese maps and stuff, but I'll leave a link on Google Maps and the Chinese name so that anyone can just copy and paste it. But basically, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the Weidong company run ships to South Korea, to Incheon. I think the ticket purchasing starts from like 1.30 or 2.30. Essentially, you just rock up. They're on ground floor, or the first floor, and show your passport, buy your tickets. Pretty easy, very straightforward. There is a small shop to the right side of the building. Let's have a quick look what's inside. Yeah. Pretty small, there's not too much, but um, if you're into some Chinese goods, you can get some things here. Probably best to buy it in the city because the selection is quite limited. Not many people today. It's actually Christmas today. <laughs> so this is the departures. You can see there's only a handful of people here waiting. I'm guessing around 4.30 we'll be able to uh, head in. Again, there's not much up here. It's a convenience store. It's a toilet. And that's it. So there's three different types of tickets. So one is 570 RMB for 10 to 50 people in the same room. The other is 688 RMB for four people room. That's the one that I chose. And then the VIP is 808 RMB for the two people room. So that didn't take long at all. Everyone else is basically on a group visa. I think they're on a tour from Korea. So I was able to just pass through by myself. Again, Christmas day, I think is why there's no one but when you're traveling who knows it might be packed oh here we go so there is a duty-free store once you pass customs let's see if there's any souvenirs you can get before going to korea maybe i'll get something for my hand money oh just cigarettes i don't think my grandma would appreciate that Cigarettes and alcohol. Some jewelry. Oh, the bus ride was literally 15 seconds. Oh, this is where we get in. Oh, hectic. Let's do this. Uh, I come back later. Okay. okay. When you're unsure, just push back. Shit, it's a bunk room. So first impressions, toilet's okay. But yeah, generally slightly dingy. It's pretty cool. It's like a very old school kind of cruise liner. Do a quick tour. So they do have um, a cafe. 
There are some services, karaoke, shower room, theatre. So they have a GS25, which is like a Korean supermarket. Some noodles, Korean cup noodles. Oh my gosh, they have Korean stuff. Korean beers, Korean drinks, got some Korean snacks. I'm very simply stopped. Almost like an apocalypse happened and people stole shit. <coughs> Fancy stairs. This is a floor up. Got a few massage chairs. And um, we'll go to the karaoke rooms. So here is the cinema, karaoke, and some sort of cafe. Ooh. If you want to use this, you gotta book it downstairs. Um, it's 20,001 for an hour. Gotta make a reservation in advance. This is the theater, 7.30 apparently. Oh, it's locked, so I cannot show you. Everything's locked, cannot show you. Oh yeah? Nice little photo opportunity. So this is an outdoor section called the Sunny Garden. The main reason I made this video is because when you ask people, they say that there's no way to go to Korea from here. And they'll tell you to go up north to a city called Yantai, which is like two hours from Qingda. Don't listen to them. Call the number that's in the description ahead of time just to double check that they are running the boat on the day you're going. He said he didn't need to make an appointment and that he could arrive before 3 p.m. And then just rock up and then buy your tickets. Just gotta believe in it. People say it doesn't exist, but um, it does. So there you have it. I don't want to spoil too much of, the tr uh, of what it's like, so... I'll end the video there. Hopefully you make it out. It's actually a really cool experience. 17 hours. And one good thing is that it sets sail at 5.30, which is sunset hour. And if you need a light, I'll be the match to your candle, my darling, I'm ready to burst into flames for you. I was just coasting till we met You remind me just how good it can get Well, I've been on fire dreaming of you Tell me you don't, it feels like you do Looking like that, you'll open some wounds How does it start and when does it end?